Hello there, welcome to our special event celebrating 50 years of ITV here in the South. Who'd have thought it? Well, I hope you're going to enjoy our memories of a very special evening. And isn't it great to meet up with old friends and colleagues once again and find out that none of us has changed in the slightest, especially me. historic occasion, 50 years of ITV in the South, give or take a couple of weeks. It's the kind of occasion when you can get tired and emotional, so I will. Hi, I'm David Owens, I was a sound engineer and I was on the opening show at Southampton, Southampton Docks, and we did the opening program on the line of Coronia. And we had Gracie Fields, and we had the Lionel Blair dancers, and it was such a great success that we had a telegram from the BBC congratulating us on it. But how many here from who remember Southern Television? Oh, fantastic. Were they not very, very happy days? very much a family actually and we just had lots and lots of fun. I, it was a family. It was a family and like all families there were upsets and arguments and we all worked together and we were all friends and it had that wonderful familial feel about it which made Southern Television so special as a company. We all thought it was never going to end, but sadly it did. Then along came TVS, and we weren't all that happy at the time, but TVS turned out to be a cracking company, did it not? Yes. Well, so many memories, working with so many fantastic people who work for TVS and Southern Television. I mean, I was one of the youngest people on the team. Uh, many of the production assistants, the producers, the directors, the executive producers, all work for Southern and TVS. So probably my overriding memory is uh, going to the canteen or going to the bar in Maidstone and chatting about the fabulous times that they had at Southern. In the olden days, after we finished a live show, you'd go to the bar. And it's not really allowed anymore, but it was really nice and a very, very friendly pushing back the boundaries of network television, developing things like the Ruth Rendell Mysteries, Catchphrase, Summertime Special, and it was just an incredibly kind of great experience, um, having come from network television in London, to see what we could do on the south coast. And then the unthinkable happened again, and TVS went, and ITV Meridian started. How many here from Meridian? <laughs> well, there's no, no, no. <laughs> Only you. Don't start. <laughs> Don't start. They're but, not willing to open up. You, <laughs> you've, you've got to speak as you find, and um, <laughs> you're going to get me into trouble here, OK? Uh, and, and Meridian, honestly, uh, have been a, a smashing company to work for. I, you know, who knows what the future's going to be, but it's been a small company, but, but a good company. The excitement of being somewhere I dreamed of being. As, as a child, I used to love watching all the TV shows, and I thought, wouldn't it be exciting to, to be behind the scenes to see how it's made? 
and just, just to enjoy sharing stories with all the people who've done so much over the years. Um, I think it was a, f a feeling that I had of, of, of family because um, a lot of the other people that worked in Meridian were ex-TVS and Southern people. There's a lovely cameraman called Roger Backhouse um, and, uh, and they really made you feel welcome and because it's quite a close-knit sort of community um, everyone felt that they were working as a team and, and everything just gelled, you know. I just think it was such a, a nice working environment. Uh, we've, we've faced crises before and uh, no doubt we'll face them again, but we'll do it with a smile and we'll all be back here in 50 years' time when I shall be 116. <laughs> Happy memories? Uh, yes, I think so on the whole, yes, I think so. I mean, I always said the, the best thing to happen in my career was Southern losing the contract, but that's, uh, that's another matter. <laughs> Cut! <laughs>